Hello everyone, welcome to the class. My name is Thomas Peters and I am from Greenville, South Carolina, which is where I currently live. I enjoy living in Greenville. I like that it's convenient to everything. Um, has a lot to offer, a lot of jobs, a lot of opportunities. My family and friends are here. It's not quite as beautiful as Charleston, but I still like it. Uh, um, I don't have any kids of my own, but I do have a two-year-old nephew that I help take care of, as well as a spoiled rotten dog, both of which keep me busy and entertained. Uh, about my work experience, so I work for BMW Manufacturing. We have a plant here in the upstate in Spartanburg County where we build the SUV models. We build the X3, X4, X5, X6, X7, and X8. We are the only location in the world that builds the big SUVs, the X5, 6, 7, and 8. And we export a lot of our product overseas to Europe, China, Asia, etc. So I started out in my company uh, working on the line as a temp. And then I worked my way up to become a permanent employee. And eventually I became a team lead. I did that for about three years and now I work in quality. So basically what that means is I look at my zone and our KPIs and what's contributing to those numbers. What can I do to help drive those numbers in the right direction? What support can I give? Um, that, in, that involves uh, developing team leads within the zone. It also involves collaboration with other zones because sometimes the root cause of an issue may be within our zone or it may be upstream or downstream. So that means either getting support or providing support on a topic to make sure that we can stop the bleeding and prevent something from happening. So it's really helped me to build an extensive network by having this role. About my education, I have a bachelor's degree in business administration from USC Upstate. I started out as a student at Greenville Tech. I earned my associate's degree in 2018. Then I transferred to USC Upstate and was sort of a hybrid program. And most of my classes were none online, but I had some evening classes and some night classes. Now, just a warning, I work full time on night shift. So that means that I would have to wake up early in the evening. I would go to a night class. I would go in late to work. I would work all night. Then I'd go home, shower, change clothes. Then I would drive to my morning class. Then I would go home and go to sleep at about noon. So that was very rough at times. Uh, I knew I wanted to go back to school for a master's, but I knew I did not want to go through the hassle of a hybrid program or in-person classes again having somebody cover my area and having to get approval and all that. So I ultimately decided to go back to school while out on furlough for COVID. When the pandemic hit, my workplace shut down for about two or three months. We were out of work and I finally had the time to sit down and evaluate my life and my goals and do some solid research. I had looked into other schools, but ultimately decided on the Citadel after doing an information session. I found the school to be very welcoming. I liked the atmosphere. I liked the fact that it was a school with a long history of developing solid leaders. I liked the fact that the program format was convenient for me. Uh, I knew I wanted an MBA. I wanted an MBA because I work in manufacturing, so 
almost all of the topics discovered discussed in uh, business school directly relate to my job. So having this foundation enables me to get a broad perspective of how the business works and what tools I need to become successful and grow and become an effective leader. So I'm very happy with my choice in the Citadel and the Citadel's MBA program. Uh, this class is actually an elective for me and I decided to take it because communication is arguably the most important skill needed in a leader. So in my current role and my previous role as a team lead, I've had to give dozens of presentations for management. Now, this used to mean pre-COVID that I would have a PowerPoint and everything and I would get up and speak in front of a room full of managers. Then COVID happened, we came back from our furlough and all of our meetings switched to Skype and Microsoft Teams, which provided its own challenges. Uh, then we eventually went back to in-person meetings. So I've done a mixture of both in person and online. And uh, when I first started, I gave my, I'll never forget, I gave my first presentation. I had a great topic. I had the data to back up what I was saying, but the fact that I was new and nervous, uh, my delivery was the only bad thing about the presentation. But through time and experience, I improved and eventually became somebody that was the go-to for helping others with their presentations. And uh, my current boss, I have issues with communication. Uh, sometimes I don't know how to read him. Um, I can't quite figure out his personality sometimes. So one of the things that interested me about this class was I wanted to know if there's anything I can do to make sure that when I step into his role, that I don't end up the same way and I don't have those communication barriers. So all in all, I'm excited to see uh, what we learn in this class and look forward to getting to know you all.